Welcome back to another episode of Soul Align Success. And today I'm gonna to share with you a perception shift around failing. So the number one question that's lingering in the back of so many spiritual entrepreneurs' mind that I get to talk to on a daily basis boils down to this one question. What if I put all my time and energy into this thing and it doesn't work? What if I put all my heart and soul into this and it fails? What if I finally allow myself to be truly seen and heard and share my message and nobody cares. So this is a very common um, fear, this fear of failure that often holds so many spiritual entrepreneurs back from truly moving forward in their mission work. And sometimes, you know, it may be this fear of success while really stepping into your next level self, really like having to uh, become that version of yourself, the one that is truly seen, the one that is shining your light by example, like stepping into that next level self. But oftentimes I also see is what is the, is the fear behind what if I do all of this and it doesn't work? Or what if I do all of this and it still doesn't work because you've already been trying it for X amount of years, right? This can be a really scary process to work through. This is part of your own ascension process. This is part of your own journey to truly be able to trust what's in your heart and what's in your soul and what's calling you forward and to move forward in full faith with that towards what it is you're being called to create in whatever manner that you're being called to create it. And so there's a level of trust and there's a level of faith uh, that's required, but I wanted to give you a perception shift around failing. When you are aligned with your guidance system, you are being led by the divine. Your success is assured. Everything that you're creating and everything that you desire is assured when you are intuitively led and you take action on that intuition, your success is assured. There is no such thing as failure. I would actually challenge you to embrace failure because really when something bombs and something doesn't work, all that is is information so you can tweak something. That's all it is, right? So aside from the fear of being seen and being heard and really stepping into that next level self, which is obviously also a fear of falling flat on your face and looking stupid or looking foolish in front of people, that's obviously a very common actual uh, fear that everybody has. This is a universal fear. This is a fear for everybody because what if you are authentically you and then nobody likes you? And here's the thing, here's the truth. If you are authentically you, not everyone's going to like you. There will be some people that are repelled by you. And there are others who are gonna gravitate towards you like a moth to a flame. So I ask you, who would you rather be attracting into your life? Would you rather be attracting people that are drawn to you like a moth to a flame for you just being your authentic self so you can finally be free? Or do you want to attract people into your experience that only gravitate towards you because you're only showing certain versions of yourself? Because the people that are repelled by your message are none of your concern. Like, who cares? You can't please everybody. And you're not here to please everybody. You're here to be authentically you. Okay? And so, obviously, that's a fear of you know, quote unquote failing or a fear of not being validated, right? But let's talk about failure actually as well. Failure is just an opportunity for you to tweak something that wasn't working before. So if you have this big launch and it bombs, all that means is that you get to tweak something. There was something that wasn't in alignment. It may have been your energy. It may have been your program. It may have been your messaging. It may have been 
who you're here to serve. You might not have been really truly aligned with who you're truly here to serve. There's many different pieces that could be out of alignment. But your success is assured when you are divinely led. If you take nothing away from this training other than knowing that, it will be a huge success for you to start to incorporate this into your belief system. Your success is assured. I would repeat this on a mantra uh, for yourself, on repeat for yourself. I, my success is assured. I am divinely led. I'm always receiving divine guidance. I trust and act in full faith on my guidance. And in doing so, I attract the people that truly need to see, feel, hear, or know whatever it is that I'm putting out into the world. And I cannot fail at this. My success is assured because I am divinely led. It can be no other way. Speak this into existence until you believe it at your core and watch what happens. I hope this video finds you well. If it resonates with you, please drop a comment below the video wherever you happen to be watching this. And I will jump in here again with another episode for you very soon. Namaste.